Good morning, class. Let us all stand for our prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who are in heaven, holy be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Do not bring us to the test, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Okay, once again, good morning. So how was your day? I hope you are all fine. So let us check your attendance. So, Apaak, Anthony. Apaak, Mia. Okay. So everyone is present. Very good. So let me present to you our topic for today. So we have here the stages of infection. So but before anything else, I would like to present to you our objectives for today. So in this lesson, you are expected to discuss the stages of infection, graph the stages of infection, show collaboration among the group in dealing with activity, and appreciate the importance of a healthy body free from diseases. So let me share to you this PowerPoint presentation provided by the Nestle Wellness Campus Program. This is in line with our topic for today. So the title is Disease and Infection. Communicable disease. So communicable is a word used to describe diseases that can be transferred from one person to another. And many diseases spread through air, water, soil, blood, and other body fluids. So, speaking of stages of disease or infection, so a disease does not come suddenly. So, it happens in stages. So, disease progression follows five stages. So we have the first is incubation, second is prodroma, third is illness, next is decline, and convalescence, the last stage. Incubation, so the first stage, incubation stage, it refers to the initial invasion of the pathogen into the person. So the person is still unaware that the disease is talking to develop. So this is the start, the entry point of the virus or any pathogens to your body or to a susceptible host. So that is the first stage. Next is prodromal stage. So in the prodromal period, the pathogen continues to multiply and the person begins to experience signs and symptoms of the disease. Next, in the illness stage, the signs and symptoms are already obvious and severe. So the person or the host suffers the symptoms and experiences the disease. Next, we have the decline. So in the period of decline, the number of pathogens starts to decrease and the signs and symptoms begin to wane or it slows down. The disease slows down. Next is the last stage. So in this stage, the body begins to recover and eventually returns to its normal function. So we have here the graph of the periods of disease. As you have noticed, it is like a bell-shaped form. So let us connect this in your algebra. So we will have the X and Y axis. The vertical line stands for the number of the pathogen particles or the number of microbes. And the horizontal line represents the time. So in the point of origin, there, in the zero, zero, so that is the entry point of the microbes. So the level of pathogen starts to rise up 
So that is why the graph here shows an upward curve. So, and then along the time, as time goes by, the number of microbes in the prodromal stage increases. So the movement of the curve is upward. And then until such time that the pathogens reaches its peak, that is the illness stage. So that is the maximum point in your algebra, in the graph here. So it's like a parabola. And then after the illness stage, the number of microbes lessens or wanes. So it drops from the peak of or, or from the maximum point, it drops. So that is the period of decline. And then eventually, uh, in the convalescence stage, the number of microbes slows down. So the graph shows a bell-shaped curve. So that's it. That's the explanation of the graph of the period of infection. So the preventive measure from this kind of disease, the communicable disease, we have proper food preparation. Next, proper hand washing. So we are very familiar with this. Hand washing, especially in this time of pandemic. Now we experience um, lockdowns and quarantines. So we need to properly wash our hands. And then we also have the third is getting vaccinated. And then coughing into tissue or sleeve. And then cleaning frequently used surfaces. And then not sharing the personal items. Do not share this with other people. So have your own personal items. And then we also have here the five healthy habits involved, which is choose nutritious and varied options and choose to drink water. So, so I hope you learned a lot from this topic. So we will now proceed to our group activity. So each group will demonstrate their understanding of the topic through performing any of the following activities. So you can have the role play in your home together with your siblings. We also have drawing, slogan, singing, and dancing. So the group will perform and be graded through the following rubric. So the first criteria is message the message or the content of your performance that is 25 points and then the other is the delivery another 25 points a total of 50 points okay very good to sum up our learnings for this morning so let us cite the four stages of infection so the first one is the incubation stage the second one is the prodromal stage the third one is the illness stage, and the last is the convalescence stage. So, I hope you learned a lot. We will proceed now to the assessment. So, in our assessment, I will be giving to you the crossword puzzle. Then you are going to identify the words being described down or across. The title of the activity is, What's the Word? So, chart says, Convalescent Stage, Illness Stage, Prodromal Stage, and Incubation Stage. So, cross number one. So, this is the interval between entrance of pathogen into the body to the appearance of first symptoms. Number two. So, this is the stage when the sick person exhibits signs and symptoms specific to the type of infection. Number three, this is the interval when acute symptoms of infection disappears. And then last for the downward, this is the interval from the onset of non-specific signs and symptoms to the appearance of more specific symptoms so stop writing your answer we will now check
So, here's the correct answer. For number one, the answer is incubation stage. The number two, prodromal stage. Number three, illness stage. And then the last is the convalescence stage. Okay, so pass or fail. So look at here, a passing score. The passing is three points, three or four. Okay, very good. I hope you got all the correct answer. And then how about students who get two or below? So nine, very good. I, I guess you learned a lot. Very good. For your assignment, you are going to answer this question. What are the three levels of disease prevention? Okay, so that ends our topic for today. I hope you learned something. And then, in life, we need to apply the healthy habits. You need to wash your hands and then be vaccinated for us to be free from infection and disease. So this is your math teacher, Maria Flor and Boncales. Always remember that life is a gift from God. So let's treasure and live our lives to the fullest, honoring our Almighty Father. So everybody stand, let us pray for the closing prayer. In the name of the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Praise be the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now and forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Goodbye, class.